Hello Pisces, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your five minute mini five cast. And this is general advice as always, guys. So please keep that in mind throughout this reading. I'll be pulling from the Winds of Fortune deck by Mystic Moon and clarify with my Luna Tarot deck here. So as you can see, if you are a regular viewer to my channel, this is not my usual setup. My monitor was not working, so I had to improvise with this setup here. So let's begin. Let's see what the messages are. All right, so we have the Four of Diamonds, but it's in the reverse. So it says, what's the catch? Hidden motives, suspicion, feeling trapped. All right, so if this is something that you relate to, that you're feeling trapped in a situation and that you're dealing with someone who's hiding things from you, you know, maybe this is somebody that you distanced yourself from or you've got your suspicions right now. We do have the nine of hearts, wishes fulfilled, falling in love on the same page, like attracts like, which of course is a very beautiful energy. But what I'm feeling with that card right next to the four of diamonds, I'm kind of feeling here that maybe you saw this person initially as your wish come true. You fell in love with them. You thought that you guys were on the same page, but they were hiding things from you, perhaps. And then you've got the three of spades now, clouded judgment, entanglements, flaky people, unrequited love. You might have had a change of heart when it came to this person. You know, they perhaps painted themselves to be a particular way, but once the smoke kind of cleared, you know, you were able to really see them for who they were to where you were no longer clouded in your judgment or how you thought of them. You finally had clarity. They could have also been a flake. There could have been third party involvements here where somebody was doing some shady stuff. So let's see for Pisces. So yeah, you have been wounded here. You've been hurt by people. You've been disappointed by people. But this is also telling us here, regardless of all that Pisces, that you're not giving up on yourself. You're not giving up on the concept of being able to find love again. There is this persistence energy, persistent energy from the nine of wands. So even though, you know, you have experienced like this boulder coming down on you, you've been able to find the strength to continue to keep trying to push it away from you and trying to overcome the difficulties that it has brought you. And you've got the Ace of Pentacles right next to it. So there's a new beginning here for you, not only in your romantic life. I feel, Pisces, this might have something to do with your job, your career. It could be a promotion. It could be advancements. Finances looks amazing, but whenever this pops up in a romance love type reading, I see it as a new beginning, of course, in love and romance. But this is somebody who's coming in who might ultimately represent that wish come true for you. And they're, they're going to be exactly who they say they are. They're not putting on a facade. You're going to know exactly who this person is. And this is someone who is all in, you know, fully committed. Let's see what else. So you know what it's like to deal with people that aren't all in. That could be what that catch is referring to. You've had your suspicions about people in the past and you're not interested in flaky people or getting yourself entangled in drama. That's just not where you are at right now, Pisces, or where you ever want to be. Six of Pentacles is equality and that's exactly what you're needing from a life partner here. And right next to that Ace of Pentacles, I feel you will be able to manifest your ideal person here. Because this, again, is somebody who's fully invested. Equality, equal, give and take. This is somebody who wants to share their life with you. Could be an Earth sign. Okay, so Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Page of Swords could represent a masculine who's very curious about you, Divine Feminine. Okay, they're really wanting to know, perhaps, if you guys were to get together, where could this ultimately go? But part of that energy of the Three of Swords or the Three of Spades there through that clouded energy is that 
they just haven't been able to see clearly, you know, as to what it is that they want. But I'm, I'm getting that you really want to distance yourself from people that just want to bring in the drama. We've got young love here, so you might connect with somebody from your past. And this could also be someone from your past that you might have distanced yourself from. This could be childhood sweethearts. The Six of Cups can be representing someone who's thinking about you. They're missing you. All right. They want to return. It's up to you if you entertain that because someone from the past might not be someone that you want to reconnect with. All right. So that's a part of the advice here today, Pisces. And I will leave it at that. If you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. Take care. See you next time. <music>